Okay. Good afternoon to my dear lecturers, Mr. Ravi Kumar. I would like to give a short introduction of myself. My name is Satyendra Singh. I would like uh, to present two parts of this presentation. The first part is the introduction, and the second part is our circle towards the national unity. So I'm presenting about the introduction uh, of the Malay ethnic. So we had we had select Malay ethnic as our topic of assignment among all the other ethnic group. There are a few reasons for why we have chosen the race that we mentioned above. One of the main reason is. Uh, it, it helps to broaden our horizon and causes us to reassess ourselves and our belief by learning other races. The second part, it helps to understand religion in general and both appreciate the positive role of the religion as well as the abuses, corruptions and failures in religion. It does stand to reduce religious tension and misunderstandings, fanatism, superstitions and prejudice that have been the cause of some suffering and strive throughout the history. Next, I would like to hand over the next presentation to my fellow members. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yes. So now I'm going to talk about the Harry rituals. The Malay wedding rituals follows the Islam national practice, which is a tradition and practice that relate to wedding ceremony, which is normally include the Lamaran or the marriage proposal, the determination of the Bridal glory is especially also known as the Hantaran, which is agreed upon by both the parents of the groom and the bride. Instead of Hantaran, Belanja means, which means delivery of gifts, gifts and the dowry. The marriage solemnization, which, which is Akhtar Nika, which is held at the mosque or at the bride house, and is witnessed by three persons, which is uh, officiated by a Kadi a marriage officer and also a Sharia court religious officer. So now I'm going to pass my to this festival. Yes, yes. For my part, I'm going to talk about festival. The first one is Hari Raya, I just victory. They normally celebrate with open house because they want to meet their families, they want to eat, gabung gabung. It's a celebration for the victory for the self discipline, and this, and it, it is also because of the end of Ramadan. And for the second one is Hari Raya Idul Adha. It's the celebration of Prophet Abraham. Uh, in the past, the God was testing the Prophet Abraham, but then the ram sacrificed for him. And that's all. Traditional costumes for Malays are being classified into two categories for men and women. Costumes for men are called Baju Melayu and Baju Kurung for women. These Malay traditional costumes are usually worn during Hari Raya Pasa, Hari Raya Haji, wedding occasions, and other times whenever they want. In the picture, you can see that Baju Melayu is paired by one long one long sleeve shirt and a pair of trousers. It is also worn with an outer skirt and a black color sock to complete the attire. For the woman, Baju Kurung is a simple knee length blouse wear over a long skirt. The outfit is completed with a head scarf called Rudolph around the shoulders or on the head. Next. Once Malaysia was formed, the multiplication of Malaysia traditional food is recognized mainly by its geographical location according to the states. On the west side, the northern states are famous for their hot and spicy food. This is due to heavy influence of its bordering country, Thailand. However, the true Malay traditional food should be prepared by using only lo local ingredients. The spice and herbs are naturally grown. The dishes are cooked over antique style oven or stove. Eaten using the hand used following Malay tablements. <coughs> Next. Okay, my name is Adam and right now I'm going to present the Malay language. 
is currently a very popular language in Malaysia. It was first originated in Southeast Asia and frequently spoken by countries such as Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Thailand. The oldest Malay language was first founded in the 7th to 14th century of Malaysia, and, we, and it was mostly influenced by the uh, Indian regions. The Sanskrit sculptures were discovered in, in the old Malay language of Sri Vijayan in the South Sumatra. Classical Malay was used around 14th to 18th century and started when Islam gained control of Malacca. It was soon refined from during the golden age of the Malay Empire. Right now, the most modern Malay language we use, also known as Bahasa Malaysia, Bahasa Kebangsa. It was used as also used as training language across Malaysia, Philippines, <coughs> and regions around Southeast Asia. It was a very it was a language used by Malaysian. Okay, <laughs> Presenting about the obstacles towards the national unity. So, achieving national unity is not an easy task, but effort must be applied on and on. This is due to the existence of economic, social, cultural, residential, and worldview among the people. Therefore, the Malaysian government, since the independence, has put in countless effort towards achieving the national unity. So, I'll be talking about the major challenges of national integration and the other economic. The first one is the pre-judgment pre 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 is a pre-judgment action. It is caused by someone to judge prematurely and illegally. The problem with this country is it usually takes the form of bad impression of other races. In Malaysia context, this kind of pre-judgment attitude still exists among races. The next one I'm talking about the com communalism. This is the attitude of favoring one ethnic community. In Malaysia, the phenomenon is quite obvious in the economic, political, social, and cultural, whereby an ethnic group shows favoritism to those formed within the group. Next one, I'm talking about ethnocentrism. This refers to the belief that one's culture is superior to that of others. Because this belief, any cultural element of manifestation of another culture that is different, I consider wrong, bad, or even dangerous. The fourth one I'm talking about is the ignorance of other ethnic groups. This means limited or lack of understanding of the way of life, the living condition, and the problem of other races. Ignorance about other races is usually, is usually a cause of the physical separation such as territories and urban rural separation that limit social context. The fifth one is the process of socialization limited to within ethnic groups. The process of socialization among members of one ethnic group is not conducive to a wide exposure to other cultural elements. Different races have different ways of bringing up children, especially at home. Number six is racism. It refers to the attitude of favoring one ethnic group. This kind of feeling is so prevalent in Malaysia for example, the political parties that exist in Malaysia are still on ethnic base. Seven is a communal politics. The ruling party in a country displays integration of various political parties within it. Generally, racial politics remains an important feature of politics in the country. Opposition parties, for example, continue to voice loud and clear the feelings and demands of only a certain community. Eight. Number eight is social economic difference. Social economic difference among many ethnic groups in the country linked for a long time to the history of colonialism. And today, to structural factors indeed constitute an important cause of this satisfaction among some the people. They feel deprived of the chance to share and enjoy the nation well. The last, the last is the Cultural difference. Cultural difference, of course, easily spark of feelings of prejudice, racism, and ethnocentrism. 
all of which pose threat to national national integration. Different culture mean different style, different pattern of life, and different problems will ultimately give rise to the conflict. Next, I would like to uh, show my side to my good man. There are two main programs that uh, government implements. One is gov uh, government transformation program. Uh, government transformation program is an effort to making the country develop and high income nation. There are seven areas uh, which are NKRA, the nation's key result area, which, uh, which are re reducing crime, fighting corruption, improving student outcome, rising living standard of low income, household, improving rural basic infrastructure, improving urban public transport, and the last one is addressing cost of the, uh, living. The second one is economic transformation program. The, uh, this program is also an effort to drive the, the country, Malaysia, to become a high salary country by 2020. There are 12 uh, territories focus point as known well as nation key economic area, NKEA. There are 12 which are uh, oil, gas and energies, palm oil, financial service, foreign uh, business service, uh, electronics and electrical, wholesale and retail, education, healthcare, communications, content and infrastructure, agriculture, and the last one is Greater uh, KL, Kuala Lumpur. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Next, okay. What was the national philosophy? that was created after the historical event on 13 May 1969. The national philosophy that was created was these five princip uh, national <coughs> principles, which is the Rukun Rukhavet. First would be belief in God, to Pachayan for the Tuhan. Second would be loyalty to your king and country, which is... Yeah, the third one would be the supremacy of the constitution, which is Kaluhuran Kuala the, the fourth one will be the rule of law. The fifth one will be courtesy and morality, which is the Sopanan and the Susila. The national principle uh, has helped towards national unity since after the incident war, which happened in May 1969, which weakened the unity among uh, the races in Malaysia, and it was formed. The main purpose of these five uh, national principles was to form to create a peaceful and harmony country. Yes. The second one would be to achieve more prominence, solidarity as being equal and maintaining a democratic way of life as we are now democracy. And third one would be to create a general public which the abundance of country will be even heavily shared. That means everyone gets evenly heavily shared so it doesn't create any problems among each other. Really? Yeah. Not like it. <laughs> then the fourth one would be guarantee a liberal way to deal with the sorted social convention. The fifth one would be to build a dynamic, dynamic, dynamic culture which will be situated to current science and innovation. Like now, currently we are getting that in our country. And so I, we hope that we will be there in the next 10 or 15 years. Like what? Well, what's on 2020? Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no